Number nine, it has a six sine of x sine squared x plus 17 sine x plus seven. Just think of this. It's sort of like having a six x squared plus 17 x plus seven. And let's just factor this and then we'll replace the x with sine of x. That's all we're doing. We're doing a little substitution here, okay? You have a sine of x, we're just gonna write as an x and then replace the x with a sine. Because we're trying to basically factor a trinomial into the product of two binomials. That's what we're trying to do here. Now, what's gonna multiply together to give a seven? Well, there's only two things, one and seven. I got a one and a seven. That's all there is. Now, I don't know whether I'm gonna have a three X and two X. That's what I'm sort of thinking. Or maybe the two X is here and three X is there. So maybe it's two X and three X here. Or it could be six X and a single X. I don't know. Let's see, let's just check and see if it's one of these guys first. That gives me two X, that gives me 21 X. 21 and two, can they give you a 17? Nope, but. What about 14 and three, 14 and three put together 17. That's who it is. It's this guy right here. So I know, and again, because that's three X and 14 X, which gives you the 17 X. So I'm now going to rewrite this where I replace this X back with sine of X. So two, instead of X, I'm going to say times sine of X plus one times three times sine of X plus seven equals zero. And you can check two sine of X times three sine of X is six sine squared of X. You have two times the seven will be 14 sine of X plus the middle three will give you the 17 and one times seven will give you that seven. So now here's what we did. We factored this guy down to here. So we now want to set each of the pieces equal to zero. So I'm gonna say, hey, two times the sine of x plus one is zero or three times the sine of x plus seven is zero. Solving this, I'll subtract one. Two times the sine of x has to come out to be negative one. We now divide by two. We're looking for where's the sine of x negative a half. Over here, we end up getting three times the sine of x equals negative seven. Divide by three. We're looking for where's the sine of x equal to negative two and one third. We know the sine of x never goes below negative one and never goes above one. This is never going to happen. Doesn't happen on your circle. So we can just sort of ignore that guy. The only piece we have to concentrate on is, hey, where's the sine of x negative a half on our unit circle? So where's that? Well, again, Mr. Hickam always starts here in his brain, says, hey, that's root three over two comma half sine is your second value so we are going to be right here on the x-axis i know that we're going to be 30 degrees off that i want that value to be negative though not positive that since this is the second value the sine of x needs to be negative it's going to be these pieces that are down the y value being negative in these spots so it's going to happen there at 330 and 210 those are going to be my answers for this problem.